Uh, so in this one, we're solving logarithmic equations with an unknown base. Uh, so it says find x if 2 times log base x to the 25 equals 4. Uh, now, importantly, when x is greater than 0, you can't have a negative base. So that's only going to work if x is positive, and x can't be 1 either. You can't have 1 as a base. Um, okay, so we're finding x if 2 log base x equals log base x25 equals 4. So the, the, the easiest way to do this is to convert to index form or indicial form. So if I've got 2 log x25 equals 4, I can't convert it to indicial form yet uh, because this 2 is hanging around here. But that's going to be pretty easy to get rid of. Log base x25 equals, that's 2 times log base x25. So I can do divided by 2. Divide both sides by 2, and we get rid of that 2 on this side. So that's going to give us log base x25 equals 2. Now that's in a form where we can easily convert it to index form. So log base x25 equals 2 is the same as x squared equals 25. And you shouldn't have any problem solving that. So we can say that x equals the square root of 25. x equals 5. Now, you might be looking at that and saying, yeah, but when you solve for a square root, it should be plus or minus. And you're correct most of the time, but not in this case, because x needs to be greater than 0 if it's going to be on the bottom here. So our final answer, x is equal to 5. Alright, so if you're solving logarithmic equations with an unknown base, it's really, um, really you want to get down to this stage, and then you want to convert to index form and solve from there. Uh, obviously the questions can get more difficult, you can end up with more on the right hand side and more on the left hand side and you have to rearrange it some more, but as long as you can get to this stage, log base something something equals something else, then you can convert it to index form and move forward from there. Solving logarithmic equations with an unknown base.